Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Oh, I banged the chair. Wow. No, I thought you were going to miss it. Stiff. I didn't like I broke that little thing, that little <laughs> stool. That was a piece of crap. That was a booby trap. Literally. By the way, everybody, here we are again. The Slice. We're, today we're talking about uh, directors and what's so fun about them and why we think they're cool. What do they even do with movies? They do nothing. <laughs> you don't act. What are you doing here? <laughs> you don't know why are they paying you so much? Right? Like, like, do they get paid a lot or no? They, like, get, paid, they get paid bank. Do they get paid bank as the actors do? I, mean, Good question. I think they get paid more. Well, I mean, they get paid enough. So I mean, are Nolan getting, was able to open up his own, his are, own studio. Are they getting Robert Downey Jr. money? Ooh, no one's getting Robert Downey Not even oh. the president gets Robert Downey Jr. money. Damn. Talk about Robert Downey Jr. He said he'll come back to Marvel if Marvel can afford him. I think they can. I I just think he he just probably said like a, a ludicrous number. He was like a bazillion dollars. <laughs> well, he said he said he'll do Iron Man four if they if Mel Gibson directs it. Oh, that's what he said, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, did he did he state that? Did he really? really... I I am I will believe it. <laughs> well, why? What was it again? You told me that Mel Gibson gave him a break or something. Yeah, when when nobody liked uh, Robert Downey Jr., Mel Gibson gave him a break. Like he didn't. Put him in his movie, but he was one of the, the guys going like, "No, no, he's cool, he's cool." Yeah, he's one of us. He's, he's one, one of us. us. And now that the tables are turned, he's like, "Hey, he's one of us." He's one of us. He may hate Jews, but he's one of us. <laughs> he's one of us. You mean he is one of us? Yeah. <laughs> we, we are working for Disney now, <laughs> right? Um, so, anyways, we're talking about directors, and oh, a great topic too. Mel Gibson, a director. Um, he is you, a good director. Did you guys watch some of his films? Apocalypto, yeah. Yeah. Oh, remind me what was the first one besides Apocalypto or Passion of the Christ? Passion of the Christ. Passion of the Christ. Great fiction. Yes. The <laughs> great fiction story. I'm joking. I'm joking. waiting for that to come out of the comic book version. Damn. There is. There is? There is. It's like it's like a thick book. You oh, I've seen it at Walmart. It's dope. The action bible? Yeah. There's an action bible? Yeah. Oh, you, you need to check this out. Yeah. The, the artwork, dope though. And like, oh man. I'll, I'll believe in that religion. <laughs> wow. So they're like, Jesus loves you. And blah, blah, blah. Hacksaw Ridge? Did he direct mm-hmm. it? I think he, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Damn. Yeah. That was, I, I haven't seen it, but like the times I've seen clips, I was like, I want to watch it. He's working with the crew. It's a pretty good movie. He's working with the crew of Sonny to make uh, Lethal Weapon 5, I think. No, he did not. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Anyways, enough of Bob Mel Gibson. Good man, good man, good, good man. man. Love it, love it. Tip my hat to him. But I wouldn't leave him next but, to wait, my for, Catholic for grandma. The fil- <laughs> you, you tip your hat for him for the filmmaking, or like I said, I wouldn't leave him. For the great and the expendable. I wouldn't sit him next to my Catholic grandma. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, we're talking about directors here, and uh, I would like to start off with Cruz. Cruz, as a child, you suffer from psychological problems and trauma. What director was able to cure that? Uh, Spielberg. Spielberg, huh? Nailed it, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, why? why? Why him? Who? Who is he? Why do we? Jurassic him? Park. What about Jurassic? Oh, he's the old man, Hamlet. <laughs> Hammond. 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 <laughs> oh, I was thinking of some other movie. Well, he was the main audience for Jurassic Park. Kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. Jurassic Park. Uh, Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3. If you're naming names, but I mean, does it really mean anything? Who, wh- what is he? Who is he? He's a director. Okay. Mm. One of the great ones, too. Is he, huh? Okay. Well, what movies did you, did, uh, did he make you wet in? Uh, he made me scared of the beach with Jaws. Okay. That's it? Well, you're great at telling about Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Come on, man! Like, what the hell? <laughs> I was Jurassic Park was one of my favorite movies. E.T. is also one of my favorite movies. Overrated. Indiana Jones. Who doesn't love Indiana Jones? I know. I didn't like the fourth one. Nah, <laughs> we're talking about, we're talking about the fourth one. I saw it. It was all right. I mean, I don't, I don't see where the the hate was. Like, well, he said Indiana Jones in general. So he's know. like, you ruined my childhood. I was like, no, you ruined it, sir. You ruined yourself. <laughs> Go away, Shia LaBeouf. Mm-hmm. Senator Pratt Ryan. That was another kicker to the balls. It's a classic. But why do you like these movies, dude? Like, what about them that made it? Just movies that made it watch it. Okay, but more, and you're just like, oh, why do you like it? Because it's good. Come on, they have something, man. Funny story about Saving Private Ryan. Mm. You know the part where they're at the beach and they shoot those two German guys who are surrendering? Uh-huh. They're actually speaking Czech, and they're saying, don't shoot me, I'm not German, I'm Czech. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. Oh wow. 
Because actually, it, when they were in the Atlantic Wall, there were there were there weren't that many Germans there. They were pretty much the leftovers of the countries the Nazis conquered. Damn, that sucks. That's something ed- interesting that Cruz didn't bring up. Well, <laughs> 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 well, I'm a history buff. I like that shit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you also gave us the Animaniacs. We did. Yeah, he was a producer to the on, on the Animaniacs. Oh, what 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 uh, what else? I mean. Ah, uh, he co-wrote Portrait Guys. Okay. That was also a great, scary movie. Sell me. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I'm trying to sell you here. You're like, <laughs> like, if you were from another dimension, yeah. you, you wouldn't be like, who the fuck is Spielberg? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, some of us don't know. Like, you're saying Jurassic Park. I'm like, what, what the hell? Man? I'm trying to act like I'm the person that never heard of these people. And you're just saying names like Jaws. 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 <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> Giant <laughs> shark. <laughs> Actually, if you had no idea what Jaws was about and someone just said the title Jaws, yeah. you, wouldn't you be like, what? Exactly. A, a giant mouth attacking me? Sell me. me. Sell okay. me. Okay, so, make me laugh. Yeah. Steven Spielberg made this movie about a giant shark going around eating people. It was fucking terrifying. Man, what are you bitching about? Jaws is like your favorite movie ever. Hey, but I'm, but I, he doesn't know I about it. He's I didn't like get to choose Spielberg. I gave it to Cruz. I told to you to take us. it. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, that is true. Spielberg is one of the big ones. Yeah. You can't just say, I'm doing Spielberg. And then you're like, today's book report, he made Jaws. I was like, that's it? Yes. <laughs> he used, pra- mostly all his movies use practical effects. And all to- the Ready of, Player One? He did it in AI. I said most <laughs> of them. Oh, yeah, I was good. I said most of them. Most of them. I have Schindler's List, man. Those were a lot of dead people. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> man. Jesus. <laughs> no, Jesus was not involved. Oh, my God. It was God. the Jews. Oh, my oh, God. God. Here we go. I'll get to it again. No God here. No, no God. No, no good. You know, those dinosaurs he brought to life. Or in what movie? In Jaws? In Jaws and Park. Park. In Jaws and Park. That well, technically, a, technically, a shark is a dinosaur. Is it? It's one of the oldest living creatures no. on the planet. Is it? No. No, dinosaurs are, are, are birds. Okay? That's what the, the, the dentist said. Uh, why is, why all of a sudden saying dinosaurs have freaking feathers? Because that's what they were. Because archaeologists barely found, you know. It's... Archaeologists were noobs back then. <laughs> They're like, I found a bone. He's I find it funny how like all the archaeologists today are going like, man, Jurassic Park is just so unrealistic. They would actually have feathers. And back then they were like, oh, amazing, amazing, <laughs> <What>? science, <laughs> science rules. No, oh, they don't have feathers. Amazing. So yeah. So what what about Spielberg? Again? I like the way he does his films. I like the way he directs. I like the way he... Why does he direct? The way he films a certain scene. It's Like what scene? Well, um, Sarah Pine Ryan. When they're doing the sniping. They, they go from the boat to the, the beach, back to the boat, and it just spans out and you're seeing the chaos. See, this, this is what I was looking for, <laughs> Cruz. This is what I wanted. That's, sell me this pen. <laughs> 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 are you are you bored? Here's a movie. Here's Watch a, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chris was just like Jaws. War. I don't understand. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, well that's what I wanted, Cruz. That scene in Jurassic Park he's, where he does good camera angles and he really infatuates you in the movie. Exactly. <laughs> Don't continue with your Jurassic Park, man. The scene where the kids are locked in the freaking car and the T Rex is just freaking terrorizing the truck and he's flipping it over and he knows just... how to build suspense yes he knows how to build and it was all freaking Patrick, a practical effect was... Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze he was trying to say Patrick but he said Patrick yeah he did what about John Williams what about John Williams he had great music with John Williams see look at that so the did boy Lucas. could learn huh? so did Lucas anyways <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about Lucas okay he sold out. This is what I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to ext- helping him to explain he's why. To he's trying to get me out. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to explain it to him. You're supposed to explain it to them. Explain to them, the audience. I can't explain it to the audience. All ten of them. All ten of All them. T- oh, well, isn't it thirty? When? <laughs> no, we have like more than thirty views. I'm oh. rounding up. I'm rounding up. Where are those other subscribers? Yeah. Now you watch it. Those two minutes just add us. <laughs> Subscribe, damn it! It only takes one. You don't have, have to hear. Have from you us. seen the shit on the trending section? Yes. Don't notify us. It's okay as long as you have us. 
We need to make some money. <laughs> Little rascals. Okay. Anyway, like Hook was also an amazing movie where he takes Peter Pan and just makes it his own. Okay, what did he do? He made right. Hook? Yeah, he did Hook. Wow. Well, he, is, he takes Peter Pan. He, Peter Pan leaves Neverland, grows up, and then when he when his kids go, do they get kidnapped? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the kids kids get kidnapped. He has to go back. To, yes, Carlos, you have a question. I have a teacher. I have a question, teacher. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think of his new movies, or his, not his newer movies? Big, well, not big. I want that big giant. <laughs> big with big Hank's new. Yeah. Oh, Hanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're dancing on the piano. Yeah. What about Ready to Player One? Did you end up watching them? He made. That. I still haven't watched it. What the hell? Really? I well, still we watched it. Watched it. Uh, Ready Player One. I feel like the best parts of the movie was when they were playing games. Yeah. In they were inside the um, oasis. I wish we were just there the whole time. You can just watch clips of this movie of the action scenes, and that's just as good. Just the oasis. I think the action scenes. You, you don't need to know anything about the story or the characters. They're lame. It's boring. But the action, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, char- the main the character. The main. The main character was cool. He was humble. Like I didn't feel like oh douche alert, douche alert. Like, <laughs> really? but, like he felt like a douche to me. Well, maybe because he probably stole your girl one time. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I thought it was nice. Uh, the 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 effects. I mean, the only I think he takes the CGI to the to the max. He cranks it up. He's like, Lur! but she can't hold anymore, he, Captain. He, he saw Avatar. Was like, hold my beer, James Cameron. Yeah, no, it was nice. Uh, I would recommend watching Ready Player One. On Netflix, or <laughs> when it comes Is it out, on Netflix? I would Netflix it. No, but just watch it. I, I wouldn't expect. I, I, really I have it at home. I just haven't watched it. Watching it in theaters. The movie is better than the book because the book sucks. Yeah. Okay. See, you read the book. It sucks. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why does it suck? This is this is him explain getting through every situation. Like, oh, I had to use the cheat code. Luckily, I spent one summer at my aunt's house, so I know all the cheat codes for this. Uh-huh. That's literally ev- the description for every problem in the movie. Cheat codes. Yeah. Oh, well, well luckily from- I knew how to do that because I did this this one time, so I know everything. You basically about this knew movie. how to read. Yes, it. he knows everything. Why even have a movie? <laughs> yeah. Why have a movie? Yeah, but anyways, uh, Crusoe Spielberg was very. Uh, Important to you? Well, not important to you, the but cartoons. like his 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 movies brought some adventure. To yeah, you. they brought adventure. To Indiana Jones. You wanted to look for dinosaurs. You didn't I wanted want to, to go on adventure. I wanted to fight. You mountains. wanted to take out. Jews. Would, would you say? <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! You wanted to fight aliens. I wanted to fight Nazis <laughs> and find get close with the encounters of aliens. <laughs> the close encounters. Yeah. Damn, nice. Yeah, that's the animaniac, freakazoid. He affected your childhood, so now you have that dino DNA. By the way, I think he has a total hard on for Tom Hanks, because the majority of oh, his movies, movies is Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Saving Private Ryan, Catch Me If You Can. Oh, uh, what's the other one? I think there's one where Tom Hanks is in the terminal, like he's in the... The terminal. The terminal. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the terminal. Yeah, and then Bridges of Spies, you know. Lincoln, his best movie. Really? I yeah. didn't see it. Did he, did he pr- direct it or did he produce the, the, the Lincoln? Yeah. I don't know. Let's no, Lincoln, find out. He, he directed, directed it. Yeah, because I, oh, yeah, he did, he did, I he did. remember seeing a behind the scenes and he's been trying to make that yeah, movie there's for another like 12 years. Bridges of Spies. Yeah, just said that. The Terminal. 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 Yeah, the Post as well. Yeah, so yeah, he had the biggest hard on fa- fanboy for uh, Tom Hanks and biggest uh, duo is John Williams and him. And yeah, man. Um, good. Um, Carlos, off to you, sir. Please sell me your director. Why should I go watch him? Why should I go watch his movies? Not him, but his movies. <laughs> <laughs> You're just watching him eat a sandwich. I was like, oh my god, look at the artwork he does. <laughs> the the turn, the tilt. That's how we get that movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'll sing it to you because okay. his name is James Cameron. And you need to stop singing. Yeah, James Cameron. James, James Cameron. Cameron. James Cameron. James Cameron and James Cameron. James Cameron. He raised the bar. James Cameron. James, he's James Cameron. That la- that name alone should get you. And if you don't, fuck off. Who's James Cameron? Who is he? Why should we care? He, who who is he? What did he make? He made uh, Terminator movies. All all all. Never two heard of, them. of her. All two of them. Never heard of her. No, he, he did the latest one too. So he made two Terminator movies. Well, no, he didn't make it. He, he, he produced, produced it, it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, explain well, why did these movies, these movies that brought this director? Well, those movies, I, 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 I first of all, they, they just, I watched them a lot growing up, mm-hmm. and I watched them, but I watched them out of order. 
I saw Terminator 2 first, and then when I saw the first one and I saw Arnold was the bad guy, that blew my mind. Like, you're supposed to do <laughs> You're supposed so to... So that's why Sarah hates you. Yeah, and my brothers watched it in correct order, so I guess I had the reverse effect right They're there. They're like, you move, you, you mop. You fucking muppet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, True Lies. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like the action movie of the 90s. Change the camera and likes using Arnold a lot. Well, hey yeah. man, that was yeah. a seller. Yeah, the only reason he didn't use him for uh, Avatar was because he was the governor at that point. Was it? You yeah. think he didn't use him for? Well, he was gonna probably use him as a main bad guy, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Nah. Dude, was, was, dope. Wait, was the was the um was the villain from Terminator Two the villain yeah. for Avatar? Avatar. It was a cop. Was it? Was it? Yeah, it was a cop. Yeah. I want to say no. No. No, it wasn't. He's looked it like it wasn't him, right? the cop. It wasn't him. No, it was Stephen Lang. Yeah, the guy, the cop. He ended up having nothing of career. He he was in a, a bunch of B movies. Yeah, he, he was from From Dust Till Dawn three or some shit like that. Ah yes, Dust Till Dawn. Your movies cruise. Anyways, uh, oh, continue. The first one. Continue. He <laughs> saw the damn series. Crew. Right. Got to <laughs> <the series. laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> he was on the Sci Fi Channel at one. This is great. This, this is, great. is great. I love it. <laughs> this should be on the no, CW. No, it was on the L Ray Network. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was on Netflix. It was on L Ray Network. That's I don't have L Ray. I couldn't afford it. Anyways, continue, sir. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways, continue. Why? What's up? Oh, I'm True Lies. That was a great movie. Mm-hmm. That that, that movie. I think that movie has like the most one-liners in it. Mm. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're one line. You're fired. That's you're it. Fu- you're, you're fired. Shoots the guy through the missile. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis when she was hot. Hey man. Hey, she's she was still hot. always hot. Even as a sixty-something year old, she's still hot. Even though the only commercial she's been in is those poop yogurt commercials. Hey, everyone has problems pooping. You poop. No, I don't. I have no buckle. Then you need Activia. <laughs> Activia, <laughs> Activia, please send me my check on the mail. Yes, we're supporting you, Jamie and Curtis. <laughs> this episode today was Activia. sponsored by Brazzers. Exactly. <laughs> Follow us. Follow us. <laughs> next, uh, next thing we're going to be doing is uh, reviewing flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look at the material. Ask you flashlights. We forget. Well, so what's up, man? Uh, oh, what's ter- up? Don't forget you haven't told me on anything. Yeah, man. You oh, just I'm sorry. It. They don't speak Spanish, and it doesn't have CGI like this, like the CW. Oh damn! Hey, we're talking about James Cameron. Yeah, James why, Cameron. why should people? So other shitty, sh- other shitty sh- CGI. The dude made Avatar. Yeah. Okay. What's Avatar? Uh, well, so the Disney. He used it as an excuse to to charge everybody twelve bucks a ticket. And you made me go watch. <laughs> I know, right? I hated that movie. Did you? Yes. You gotta admit that the three D in that movie. Three D is amazing. I just well, you wear them. glasses. That's why. Oh yeah, like he, you weren't able to enjoy it. So yeah, that's that's not his fault. That's your fault. Like, what about these blue people? Why do I care about these blue people? Why fucking do you care about the Smurfs? Fucking giant ass Smurfs. Uh, but uh, he uh, the, Fern Gully, huh? Fern Gully. Fern Gully is Avatar. Avatar copy Fern Gully. We don't talk about that lawsuit. Okay, continue. <laughs> uh, he does. He doesn't even want to make like sequels to Avatar until he perfects the. The new 3D 5G? Five, no, like uh, 5D? Yeah, 5D. Where you're in it. Like, you literally, <laughs> 5K. he has to build, like, an, a whole jungle in the theater. Yeah. And then you, like, actual blue people watch It's just it. gonna be him with, the, like, a branch tree slapping Why? you. Why like, don't he just do, like, a theater show? Like, that's, I know, that's right? real as oh, possible. I get the feeling this guy would be so happy doing plays. I think he wants to do, like, some, like, like, I think he might be the first director that might try to do uh, uh, visual effects, like, uh, you know how Mysterio did? Okay, okay. Holograms. Like, holograms. Yeah, that too. That too. Holograms. I think he might want to try to he might want to try to set it up in theaters for that movie so you have like a visual literally a feel of it. I yeah. think he's going to try to do that. If he does then um you guys owe me a bajillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I called it here for We're, we're going to be watching a movie. Now oh, this is an Avengers level event. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. And then After he charges like 50 bucks a ticket, you can't trick me anymore. Yeah, exactly. No, I think he might do that. I think he's going to try to go You think he's going to live to that time? Dude, that fool went under like the deepest water. Like he's like the, the uh, one of the, the few abyss? people that went to the abyss. Yes. I think he went the lo- the most. Um, he went I, to like the Mariana Trench or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Fucking nerd. I mean, he's. I think he like uses his movie just to fund his fun. Right. He's like, I'm just gonna go. Why? Just to go. Like, I don't think there was a reason for him to go to the Mariana Trench. No, there wasn't. Like, there was no movie. Like, oh, I'm gonna research my new, uh, my new underwater movie. Mm-hmm. Like, Titanic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. He he went. He's gonna bring the Titanic actually up. He was the right. Titanic two. Is it possible? The science museum. I think he did a, a I, exhibit. I for think the if science. you. I think if you like brought the Titanic up, it would like disintegrate. Really it's rusty. Mm. Yeah. Once air touches it. Yeah. Like it just falls apart. And you call him the nerd. I, I was just speaking. What a hater. <laughs> it's like, Anyways, it's just common oh, deep knowledge. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Avatar and so. Aliens. What about aliens? The first aliens. What Wait, about did you the second one? Remember, some of these people probably didn't watch these movies. Sell them. Well, it's, it, it, it's, it, it talks about aliens. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I prefer aliens, too. Oh. And, I mean, he did give us one of the best female characters ever, Ridley. Oh, ah, yeah. She was hot. And Sarah Connor, too. That's two. Eh, she was not hot. Not hot. Best action he action female characters. Man, what why are you reducing women down to their looks? Uh, I'd be intimidated ran into like a Sarah Connor. I'm like, oh yeah. fuck. She Sarah was, Connor. God yeah. damn. Oh, damn, man. God damn it, woman. Oh, that's cool. So I mean he contributed to that by giving us two of the best female lead characters. Ever. And he's made he made Arnold. He made Arnold, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, thank you, James Cameron. And he gave uh Leonardo the crap he killed him. He killed, he killed DiCaprio, so he uh, fit on that door. So that's four great things. Actually, no, he it's not that he didn't it, fit. It, the weight will Yeah. I, I so when you just let that I, I, shit I, go, sh- he should have died. Shh. Actually, Rose should have died. She was a cunt. Damn. Okay. That's 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 good. That's good. So I think you've uh, you're you're good with uh, t- giving your reasons why James Cameron is Yeah, cool? well I mean I I love Terminator one and two. I watch those movies nonstop growing up. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, who's your director? Well, me, I would go with the man who is uh, the uh, most darkest director. Not really darkest, but like goth looking dude. Uh, I would go with Tim Burton. I think as a child, uh, as a child I was, Nightmare Before Christmas, the visual, how, like, it's just like the little animation. Lakita does that. Now. Well, they're known for that. Lakita were the people with Paranorman. Um, Coraline. Cor- Coraline. And I think that was one of... Uh, one of the few things I've I, I kind of reminds me. I think without him, there would be no claymation industry. Yeah, and I give him a lot. Of, uh, I give him a lot of credit for that. If if not, if he didn't, but he helped. He helped, oh, especially the pioneer. Like, it would it would be almost nowhere without him. Yeah, and I think it, he he does a wonderful job with music. I, I'm I'm always a fan of music in movies. I think music makes a lot of the movie. Um, he works a lot with Danny uh, Elfman, uh, man mm-hmm. who created the Simpsons music. Dun, 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 dun. Batman theme song. He's um, also the. Oh, I, I love that Simpsons song. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he also Danny Elfman's basically uh, um, Oingo Boingo, a uh, nice, <laughs> wonderful band. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think his music and his directing it just it makes the, the movie more just creepier, which is good. It, I his think, music adds like good ambiance. Yeah, like Batman, dude. Batman's soundtrack. Is beautiful, and then the way he directed the feel, how it looks, just dark gothic. I I miss that. I miss that about uh Batman, where it just looks like a huge city. Like it's like whoa, it's like ten times it's, bigger than. It's that. like never mind. This doesn't happen in our world. This is its own thing. And I like forget that. about reality. I love that. Like he gives, he throws it away. He's like boom, like with Beetlejuice. It's like this can't happen. Sand sandworms. Yeah, it's like Edward just hands. forget about this. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, and it's, you can tell. Like sometimes he'll go a little nuts with Charlie, like with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's like. This happened, <laughs> but I mean, Are, you're allowed one. Everybody yeah. gets one. Yeah, and then obviously well, he got more than one. I think he also could go even darker with Sweeney Todd. Oh, I yeah. think that was very bloody. I never saw that. It's a very good movie. And then, like I said, um, I like the music. They sing. Johnny Depp does wonderful. Johnny Depp is like his go-to boy, which I, I like. I like Johnny Depp. He's Pirates like- of the Caribbean, all the way. Like I said, uh, Edward Scissorhands, uh, uh, Sleepy Hollow, dude. Oh, he yeah. brings. Uh, Big Tim fish. Burton brings this whole creep factor to like a max, which I I love. Beetlejuice, I love like the whole death thing, and he does he does a lot of things. He does Mars Attack. He did Mars oh, Attack. Great, great intro. Yeah, it was good. Well, in his early years, he looked like he used a lot of Michael Keaton too. Oh yeah, Michael Keaton. Yeah, he he was a fan of him, and I liked it because he's he was like you could do it. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. 
Bubba. Say my what's say my name. Ah, <laughs> you bunch of losers. <laughs> Uh, I, I love that one scene where he they, they, he goes back into the little miniature place and then he pops out a uh, like a strip club. A strip club, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> was, he should be playing that song. You need to make this of uh, uh, where he's dancing, but to the song from Batman. Uh, the, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, no, the one where the Joker's dancing. Which one? When they're the crazy. What parade? Wait, the parade or the museum? The we'll museum. talk about this later. Oh, the museum. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to remind me later. Yeah, but I mean, I, I love, as a kid, I, those were the movies I kind of watch. Is like, which is like kind of fucked up in a way for kids. Like, you're supposed to watch Sesame Street. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm going to watch fucking Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch Corpses. Right? Yeah, I love Maybe Corpses. Did you do that by Um, probably produce it, but I know he made, um, he directed, uh, uh, a vampire movie was uh, the dark, uh, dark Shadows. Yeah, Dark Shadows. He did that. That's the closest I remember. But majority of the, the kind of like his early films, I kind of watched them all. But I, I think he does a great job like putting, am- amplifying all that weird shit. Like Mars Attack was fucking wonderful. That was like, just, <laughs> like, that was just falls out. Yeah, like that's something they gave him money. He's like, here, hire anybody you do, can. Do what you want. <laughs> and then we don't care. We don't make money. It just happened. That was one of those movies that you let a director let him be go nuts. <laughs> you, you you know why? Because the, the producers were just like, there is no way <laughs> that we can lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I loved it. I, I, and you know what? I love how Disney still trusts Tim Burton because he made Dumble. And you can tell they're like, we still like you. <laughs> You've given us 10 good ones. Yeah, you know, they gave him, uh, they gave him uh, I think they were doing uh, Alice in Wonderland mm-hmm. and Nightmare Before Christmas. I was a fan of Alice. No? Well, I haven't really watched it. It never caught me. I love the old G fucking animated one, but um, besides that, I I, I love... Uh, I like the second one. Okay, well, I didn't watch anyone. Else. <laughs> but uh, Tim Burton, I feel like as, as a childhood, I think he kind of constructed the way I like my my type of movies. They're a little kind of like... Anti-Semitic? <laughs> Anti-Semitic. <laughs> kind of like dark, you know? And that's okay, you know? And I love that. My first uh, interpretation of Batman was the... Uh, the, the Tim Burton one, you know, with Joker stuff. Like, that's how I saw Batman. Like, I didn't run into the 70, the 61, Batman. Like, I wasn't me. I think I would have been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I would have watched that one. I would have been, no, no, no. What is that's, this? That's not my Batman. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I loved it. I, I loved the dark, you know. It was cool. And, uh, I've never a, danced in a pale moonlight. I have, I have. And it feels great. <laughs> But anyways, I think that's for me, Tim Burton. I, I, I suggest anybody who hasn't really watched his movies, and if you have, watch it again. They're great. I, I love Tim Burton. Tim yeah. Burton, one of my dark, uh, that's my childhood, dark darkness. <laughs> uh, brooding. Well, well, I think that's what makes all these directors good, is that you can go back and always watch their work again, because like, you never get tired of it. Yeah, and it's good. I mean, I, I love the movies. Um, like I've seen Saving Private Ryan hundreds of times. Yeah, Jaws, dude. I could, uh, Jaws is like a three-hour movie. And I, could just, <laughs> I could sit down and not go like, man, I'm going to kill three hours. I'm like, I wait, I, I'm done with the movie. I was like, fuck, I just killed three hours. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> Batman, always great. You're just oh, like, yeah. oh, this is wonderful. This is great. Yeah. yeah. You could always go back and watch it a million times and still love it. I always watch yeah. Beetlejuice over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Keaton's best performance. Yeah. <laughs> he was the Joker. It was. He could be Joker and that. Um, but speaking of like what well, we're talking about our childhood, what about our present time? Anybody anybody sticking out new direct upcoming? Not even, yeah, maybe during the time now. Don't have such a long filmography as these guys. Yeah. Um, Cruz, do you have anybody who comes to mind right now in in the new era that's kind of taking Snyder. over? Snyder. Snyder? Zach is Snyder. that the, the, the pretzel guy? No. Oh, uh, Zach, Zach Snyder. He's, he's Snyder. not really that well known because he hasn't made that many big movies. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I so like how he, how he directs. I just like every, Flashy, every, Lens every Lens movie. <laughs> shaky. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's, uh, that's not him. That's, uh, what's his face? Ryan Johnson? Uh, no, not Ryan Johnson. Um, he ruined Transformers. Michael oh, Bay. Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. Yeah. Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> I like in every single movie he directs, there's always a slow motion part where they're battling. It, it, it's it's freaking awesome. There wasn't one in Star, Star Trek. Because he didn't do Star Trek. Wait, you're talking about Snyder? Yes. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like, what? Oh, 300? <laughs> 300. Watchmen. I love Watchmen. 
I never read the comic until I saw the movie. What do you think? What do you think of like when it comes to the comic and Watchmen? Like the Watchmen comic and the movie. I think it's almost it's close right there. To, well, I mean, I, it's I, right there. I agree with Cruz. I love it. Mm. But the thing is, it's you can't do a Watchmen movie. Yeah. yeah, it would have to be a show. Yeah, yeah. So and they ruined that. But it was close. No, it, no, no it, the, the 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 movie was very close to the yeah, comic. The, they, they just snipped a lot of the. Um, they sni- and they changed a few things, but overall they got the point across. Yeah, yeah. it sold me. Yeah. I reading it well. Yeah, I saw the movie, then read the read the comic, and it was great. Mm-hmm. You know, his first film he did I loved was Dawn of the Dead. Mm-hmm. It was a remake of the original one. That was that movie was awesome. Did that movie have a slow motion? No, that movie didn't have a slow motion. No, you're thinking of Zombieland. Yeah. But, yeah, I love the way Zack Snyder um, films his movies. With a camera? <laughs> <laughs> I just wish... He'll, he'll, I, hope he, I hope he comes back, he heals from his loss of his daughter, comes back and finds a home in a, in a, in a good studio. And that will let him just do his work. Or like Warner studio Brothers. or company? Cause I think he has a studio already, but he means company. Right? Oh, yeah, company yeah, that will take him. A company that won't treat him like what WB did. Mm. Mm. He has a lot of potential, and what WB did to him was it wasn't good. I think they were, they wanted this movie to come out the Justice League like so badly that they're like we don't care, just finish it. And, and then, then they obviously fired him. Lost. They used his daughter as an excuse to fire him. And, and did they, they fire him? Or yeah, they, they fired him. Did they fire him? Okay. They fired him. They used the daughter as an excuse to let him go. Okay. And then they gave it to Josh Whedon, and Josh Whedon just made it worse. Okay. Well, what about Zack Snyder? Do you like that? <laughs> You're like, no. Well, what movies did you kind of like, oh, my God, these are great, besides 300? My favorite movie, besides Donna, De- is Sucker Punch. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about it? Uh, these girls that are in the, what are in the mental in, 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 institute? No, they're in Disneyland. Mental institution, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they just create an imaginary world inside their heads and to get away from the pain and all that, and then they're getting harassed, and then they they use that imaginary world to, like, break free. Yeah, well, it's like how they how they would see it, like, what they're going through. Like, yeah. oh, this is war, you know, this is hell, so. All right. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'll tell you what, what the... You You're just like, well, what? Come on. <laughs> sell me. I'm selling you. I'm selling you. Man of Steel made me a Superman fan. I was never a Superman fan until I saw Man of Steel. I was a Superman fan in the animated series. Yeah. Eh, there was too much of a boy scout in the animated series. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> what a hater. And I, I watched Smallville, but I was like... And Batman's uh, too much of a detective for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he made me a fan of Superman. Yeah. You know. 300 was amazing. It was about 300. The fight scenes, man. And that sex scene. What the (laughs) I guess that was not... That was not at all what I was thinking. (laughs) I would not sit down and pull one for that. By the way, what uh, what was (laughs) up with that sex scene in the second one? I was very rigorous. It was it was like how long was it? This felt it very long. I felt I, uncomfortable I felt, next to you. I felt my children were like, ah, oh, look away. Yeah. <laughs> we have no children. And I like how afterwards he's just like, all right, I fucked you. I'm still not on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna kill you. Run away with me. <laughs> they did like a uh, Talia go run away with me. I know she's like, join my side. All right, let's fuck. Hey, right. I want to see the Army of the Dead and see how good that comes out. That's a Netflix exclusive. So it's not a movie then. It's a movie. All right. So, anyways, uh, Carlos, I love like Guardians you. of Gold. <laughs> Carlos, for you, what uh, what movie right now would you say? What director right now would you say you're like on point? Well, like right now, working right now. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's what we were talking about earlier with Cruz. But anyways, what? Hello. Well, Cruz should like this one since he has a Spanish sounding name. Uh huh. Uh, Denise Villanueva. Oh, Villanueva. Wow. he sounds foreign. What did he do? He is foreign. How dare he? <laughs> <laughs> Deport him. Oh yes. Uh, All Hispanic back to Canada, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Where you belong, eh? Uh, he made <clears throat> Prisoners. 
Uh, your favorite movie, Sicario. Oh, Sicario, oh, like Sicario, man, the drug cartel. Did he do the second one too, or did he do the first one? Only did the first one. Yeah, because he's like, I don't want to ruin the franchise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which the second one was good. Yeah, it was. Have you seen it? Yeah, man. Yeah. Sicario too. <laughs> hey, I recommend this Sicario. Yeah, dude, dude, yeah. I was like, no, it doesn't look that good. Oh, my God. That shit was dark. Yeah. So, if too... anything, me mentioning him is your fault. You know, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, he made Sicario. He made uh, Arrival. Okay. Uh, Blade Runner 2049. Okay, well, first of all, what, what, what's up with these movies? Why do you like them? Uh, well, why do you like this director? What what brings you to him? He's Hispanic. Ah, your people. Your Fuck tu familia. You. Mi familia. Amiga, amiga, amiga. Hey, dude, I'm white. All right, whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's the one in the car the other day. Well, you listen to Spanish, but I'm the more Mexican than the one out of the both of us. Oh, yeah. My name is Velasquez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more Mexican than you. Right? Actually, technically, I do have more ancestral blood than you. Yeah, Fuck man. His, oh. mom, his grandma's a Mayan. I thought you were going to go with <laughs> po, po hockey or something like that. Gazuta. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> continue. What do don't we... be little my people. Oh, I believe them in a long time ago. We <laughs> took their country. <laughs> no they lost at the Alamo. They traded it for a bag of beans. Anyways, oh enough of my okay, French. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, Sicario, great movie. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's uh, it's it's it's, it's gritty. Yeah. Really, it's dirty. Does he do this a lot for his movies? Or is he, um, has he changes? He well, has Arrival a... wasn't like that, uh. but Blade Runner was. Mm -hmm. Would uh, that's my favorite movie of his, Blade Runner. Really? Yeah. Damn. Better than the than the original. Ooh, that's big talk, man. That's, oh yeah, dude. The... Mm, I don't say I agree. Still slow, but well, both of them are slow, <laughs> right? Yeah. That fight scene with Dave Bautista in the beginning of the movie was pretty gritty. Oh God! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, off, off well, of Dave's dick. Well, he, it took him a while to find him because Drax wasn't moving. <laughs> Couldn't see him. Oh yeah. So what? What? What, what else? The, the grittiness. Obviously. Well, I mean, he, he. I don't want to say that's a thing of his, but like he does every movie the way it should be done. Like Sicario was gritty. Arrival was was kind of a clean looking movie because I guess it was about an alien invasion mm -hmm. and Mexican. <laughs> Mexicans Mexicans yes <laughs> don't let them build the wall don't let them build the taller wall the ta they're using UFOs build I higher. always think they need to build a moat that's all <laughs> <laughs> you can't because you would fill it with crocodiles and it would turn them into belts god damn it <laughs> 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 I like this episode it's very ethnic yes exactly so yeah our rival huh? uh, Blade Runner a uh, favorite movie of his maybe one of my favorite movies in like the past Arrival? 10 years no really? Blade Runner Blade Runner okay okay yeah. and does he change a lot does the feel look different from the other movie like he, how he makes it he, you can tell it's set in the same world but he does it completely different okay like it's, it's like what it's, I just said huh it's like what I just said does he well yeah it? yeah but it feels different like he, he you can tell it's in the same universe so um, Sakari and Blade Runner in the same universe you're fucking yes. retarded. <laughs> they are. They are. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, the the the. So Blade Runner comes after Arrival. The androids are after um the the, the drugs. Yeah, Sicario's after Blade Runner. Yeah. Come <laughs> on, man. Get it right. Come on now. <laughs> uh, he dude's working on Dune. Oh, nice. Movie, which I'm pumped for. What's that? Dune. It's a. Uh, you you never right. seen the original? No. What is it? Uh, it's a remake of the... It's a remake of Dune? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a remake or a reboot? It's a remake. Uh, oh, yeah. Next hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, continue, sir. Uh, but, I mean, the, the dude's filmography is, like, bulletproof, <clears throat> so... The fact that he's taking on a franchise that I love... Yeah. ...is, like, dude... Well, just, what's Dune? Dune, uh, it's, uh, it's, like, s space... Space. It would be too complicated to explain. Can you simplify it if I was a five-year-old that still did my shit in it, crayon? Those, those, uh, those desert worms that come out. Tremors. It has the spice. Yes, they are tremors. Oh, so you're making tremors. They, they want the spice. They want the space spice. Oh, like, uh, is it like uh, Energon, like Transformers? Yes. <laughs> I already know this movie. Uh, basically, Dune is a planet. It's the only planet where the spice grows that allows for space travel. And Well, the beep is spice grows. Yes. Okay. Tell me what you want, what you want, what you want. Don't what sing. Want. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, nice. So, uh, big so I, mean, I love what he's done, and I'm pumped for what he's going to do. Yeah, you haven't been disappointed. No, I have you not. You haven't disappointed yet. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, good. Dune might suck, so, you know. 
No, but I mean, from the movies you've seen from him, he's had a clean record oh, yeah. with like, you. He hasn't made that many, but what he has done, dude, it's bulletproof, man. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, it's always good also with directors that just have a a like uh, a record with... And not, I mean, I'm just saying, a lot of people are like snobs with directors sometimes. But when it, it's always good to hear like you have trust in a, in a director. And speaking of trust, I have my director, which is Christopher Nolan. In Nolan, we in trust. Nolan, we trust. Um, Nolan, what can we say? What a guy. What a guy. He gave us the Dark Knight trilogy. He ruined Batman for everybody. Oh, he actually ruined Batman for all directors. You have you to. You can't do. do you, no, he ruined superhero <coughs> movies. He did. He did. He basically topped it. He's like, you can't get to my level. DC, pretty much, they want, what they're trying to get out of superhero movies now, they were like, you have to be the Dark Knight. Yeah. If you can't be that, fuck off. It's like... um. It's like they made Batman so realistic that you're like, I can believe this can happen. Like, his characters are just like... A bunch of guys wearing hockey masks? Yeah, a bunch of guys wearing hockey like, masks. Well, I bet you while Nolan was directing it, he, he would stop at every decision and go, can this happen? Yeah, and I think that's what I like about Nolan. He brings back realism and like he's, he's trying to save something that's being taken away which is like the CGI taking almost everything obviously he has to CGI some stuff like yeah. in Interstellar we're not in space <laughs> but he tries to do he tries to be um what is it um What's the word? Grounded. Grounded, yeah. yeah. And like, e even with Interstellar, like, they didn't just get on a spaceship and say, we're fine. Yeah. Like, the, the ship spins to create gravity. Yeah. They have to go into... And, like, spinning would be, like, Inception. Remember he did that uh, that uh, that <laughs> nice uh, uh, flip uh, uh, spinning room where yeah. they were all having that fight scene with Gordon Levitt. So they're the like, ship oh. is shaped like the top. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that I think with Nolan, I like just making it real. Like how Spielberg, like, you, you see this shark, I'm like, it's, it looks fake, but it's real looking. Like, you, yeah. you bring it. You he, bring... he pulls you into the movie. Yeah, and I like that. I mean, I've seen literally almost all his films except maybe one or two, but I think every movie has always, like, caught me. Like, whoa. like John Kirk, that was one of the recent ones we've seen. Yeah. Real. It felt gritty. Like, it, it, it wasn't violent like how some people make it, but... You just felt like, oh, shit. It wasn't your average war movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, shit's going down. And I, I liked it. Uh, also, he, he works well with um, Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Yeah, and he, it's music. Like I said, music gets you. And like, like, a lot of the movies he makes with his brother are at, always hits. Yeah, well, I think that's all of them. All, all of them? Yeah, that's. I think they just team. They always do it together. I don't think they'll ever like try to be like, no, I'm gonna be on my own. I want to. I want to make my own name. <laughs> like Nolan's <Nolis, laughs> like lulls. <laughs> <laughs> How funny, you chump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he works a lot like visually. He that's what he tries. I think he's like the only one that re re not the only one, but he does a lot of IMAX. Like he loves that shit. Like the uh, experience. Like and oh, he pretty oh. much works with the same five actors all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Michael Caine, <laughs> fucking uh, what's his Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, fucking um, yeah, Michael, uh, DiCaprio, DiCaprio, also um, what's his name? The Shelby, a fucking Scarecrow. What's his name? Uh, oh, the name's always in my head. Cillian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Killian, Jillian, Jillian, Jillian. What yeah. is it? Is it Jillian, Killian Murphy, something C like that. Cillian, Mr. Murphy, <laughs> Mr. Murphy, yes. Mr. Murphy. <laughs> I know, but he um, wanted to be bad. They wanted him to be Batman. I believe yeah. watching um. Peaky Blinders, I would believe he'd be an awesome Bruce Wayne. Like couple, like year one or two, like he would've been perfect. Like he has that like look and like the, the uh, no fucking fighting. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's gonna be a Batman as Batman. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no. As Scarecrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But um, he does a great job making the uh, the movie just feel more intact. Like yeah, like you said, grounded. And you don't. Yeah. Oh, you could always say, I think he did it for reals. Yeah, it's like when he flipped the truck. That was literally what he wanted to do. He was like, no, we could just see. Yeah, no. he actually, yeah, he did. Yeah, he they, they had a spring trap loaded to flip it up, and it landed perfectly. Uh, but just uh, since you're talking about uh, since he's doing practical effects, I think that did hurt him in Dunkirk. Oh, okay, yeah, with uh, what with because uh, that that beach scene, mm -hmm. just that beach should be like fucking packed. Yeah. And he, I think he only went with like people he could get on set. Maybe, yeah. But like, I, I get what he was going for. But in reality, like that should be beach should have been fucking packed. Yeah. Maybe I think just like I guess the way I guess not like you know how I'm pretty sure it was gory in real life. Like you just see fucking. Dead there's a, there's a scene in, in a movie called Atonement. Yeah. Which with a uh, young 
Xavier. Yeah. Where it's like a perfectly shows what it was like there. Yeah. But you know that would have been too much, and I get he wasn't trying to show that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know sometimes where practical being trying to be practical does hurt you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean Christopher Nolan, uh, his actors, he would get um, basically like Cillian Murphy. Um, Michael Caine, Tom Hardy, like he he likes to keep his crew and and they do a good job. I think in every movie they've done, it's uh, Tom Hardy brings like the when he brought Bane into it. Like a lot of people were like, "What the he hell?" Has his face covered? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you should have respected my authority, you yeah. And it's funny because they give him they give Bane a lot of shit for that. Like everything now about Bane and like cartoons and movies, they're like clowning on him, and I'm like. Why? He was intimidating. <laughs> like, even in uh, the show Gotham, I remember they, they did that bit with him. Like, they changed the guy's voice. Yeah. And I was like, dude, Bane was awesome. He was intimidating. And it goes, Sean, he had Sean Connery's but voice. He, but he wasn't a uh, luchador. All right. Which I always think, like, they should just have him, like, how it was just an assassin that, that you know, in the, in the comics and in the animated series, they made him very mm -hmm. intimidating. Yeah. But before, after that, they started making him to, like, oh, I smash. <laughs> Yeah, they started making him to a Solomon Grundy kind of character. Almost, yeah. So, I, I mean, like I said, I, I like... It was the Schumacher movies where he's like, ball. Yeah, ball, <laughs> ball. But Nolan, um, I, I trusted Nolan, and like I said, I would recommend Prestige. Nolan is God. Yeah, Nolan is God. Uh, but Prestige is one of the Nolan movies that I think a lot of people give hype to. I mean, it was great, but I don't see it as like, oh, Dark Knight, and nowadays the Interception, Interstellar. Well, I mean, even his like lowest performed movie, still a hit. Yeah, I, the guy's never missed. Yeah, but I, I like I said, I I, I just uh, those movies. I would I would check out Nolan. Nolan does a great job. Yeah, he makes makes things very realistic looking. Like I said, you question it. Like is it, it's like Inception. Was it real? Was it all real? Like the whole dream. <laughs> he has a cool way of like putting fantasy in a real setting. Yeah, yeah. like how he made like the in Prestige. Like, oh, is it a transporter? What is it? Yeah. And then at the end. Boom. Yeah. Clones. Yeah, so I was like, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped the shark there, Nolan. God damn it. Anyways, um, that was, I think, Christopher Nolan right now at the time is probably like, but I mean, obviously, I, I don't know. I'm not very good at remembering all these fucking directors I've seen movies from, yeah. but I know Nolan stands out for me for a reason. Like, I, I, would, I know his name. I know what he's done. Like, Would you say he's peaked already? I don't know yet. Because, I mean, there's... I mean, he said he wanted to do Interstellar, and that was his movie that he's been wanting to do Yeah, forever. like, that was the one. He did Batman for that one. Yeah. He, like, it's literally, he's like, I want to do this, and I have to do three Batman movies for this. And I was like, it was worth it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't think Interstellar is, like, like he's also my director. favorite one. But, I mean, I, I thought it was good. I think Matthew McConaughey, I, di I, didn't, th I didn't look at him as a fool. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, yeah, all right. All right. He's also a director he knows when to stop. Because okay, yeah. he could have gone for the fourth Batman. And he's like, no. And they kind of had to semi-drag him for the third one because he was like, dude, he like it's not only is the story kind of over, but yeah. Heath Ledger's gone. What am I going to do? Yeah, he was going to keep him. He was going to be a part of... They were, he was, was going to be a big part of the third yeah. one. Yeah, he said he was going to bring Joker a lot in the... Like, you know, even, even Joker said, we're destined to do this forever. Yeah. yeah. So, um... But I think no, uh, Nolan, uh, he just catches me every time with those uh, movies. I'm like, whoa, this is real. He'll he'll be the he'll be the the Kubrick of our time. I mean, uh, many people might say he's overrated, but just because of the Dark Knight. But I mean, watch his other movies and fuck it, like watch. Like, his... Oh, he made a comic book movie. Yeah, uh, well then watch watch Inception. Yeah. I think Inception was a a lot of people were like, where's Batman? It's like Inception. Watch <laughs> Memento. Yeah, Memento's good. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. that was uh, one of the good ones. Uh, I I have to see Insomnia. I have to see that one still. I haven't seen that I've one. Seen that one. It was Al Pacino, but I um he probably didn't like him after that. I don't see Al Pacino in his movies anymore. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Cruz, is there a director right now for you that like catches you in this time, um, uh, or yeah. not right now, but just in general? In general, in general you're right Perhaps. now. Uh, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard of him. Uh, I like the way he films. Who is she? Uh, he's done both Cowboys. He's done Pan's Labyrinth, The Orphanage. Um, he does a lot of practical effects. The new Hellboy? No, he didn't do the new Hellboy. Thank God. <laughs> good for you. Good, good for him. Good for him. He did Blade Two. Mm. Um, it was all a sting to get Wesley Snipes. Right. That's a, that's uh, when they arrested him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think the only movie I didn't like. Well, I haven't seen all of them, but the ones I've seen so far. It's Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak. Which was that one? 
That's the one where Loki's the main character where he goes oh, to the haunted right, house, right, right. haunted mansion. The haunted mansion? Oh, he's gonna do it, that one too, right? It's, it's a haunted mansion. No, but is oh, he? Oh, he's uh, he's in talks. They haven't confirmed it yet. They're always in talks. They're, always uh, in talks. they're, they're, they're talks. waiting for the, the success of um, they Jungle, Cru- do Jungle Cruise. Who's doing Jungle Cruise? Uh, I don't know who did it, but The Rock. They're, they're doing film. Oh, The Rock's gonna be on that one. Yeah, uh, so, I think we could call it The Rock, <laughs> the modern day. Uh, I don't want to say Arnold because Arnold was. No, he's a modern day Arnold. Is he? Yeah. What's, what's, the name, what's the name of that guy who, uh, the, the, the Andre the Giant? What about him? All these wrestlers are the modern day Andre the Giant. <laughs> You're going to call him Andre the Giant? Yeah, they all what are. Hulk Hogan and the Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're all basically modern day versions of that. Oh, there's the, was the one who's a, a, space, a time traveler? Or? I mean, Dave Batista did, has done pretty good jobs. I mean, he's done pretty good movies, right? Like, he came out in uh, uh, Blade Runner, came out in Spectre. He didn't talk in it, but he no. looked to me. <laughs> even when he, talk, he talks to less is where he does good. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see I, him. I don't even see him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the less you see him, the more wonderful I mean, also, uh, Guillermo del Toro does a great job in practical effects, right? Practical effects. The, his creatures are always amazing. Yeah. I love that he has a big heart on for, like, like, like horror, horror, horror monsters. Yeah, yeah like, and that's not a lot of people want to do that anymore. Like, people don't, like, directors don't want to do monster movies anymore. Yeah. They're afraid it'll ruin their reputation. Uh, what so. reputation? That's that's the risk of it. That's the fun of uh, directing. Yeah, so they're, he's attached to do Haunted Mansion, but they're waiting for the success of Jungle Cruise because yeah. they, they want to do their own little They want to do Disneyland, basically. Yeah. Like, Walt Disney wanted all of them to be connected in some way. Yeah. Which, he, wanted the, he wanted Pirate to the Haunted hey, Mansion. Universal connected. should do that. Right? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, that makes no sense, though. No. Why would that one happen? <laughs> Mummy the movie. All right. Jurassic Park. Speaking of mummies, what other directors are you into? Maybe old fossil looking people like Quentin Tarantino? You, you want to talk about Quentin? I mean, dude, I think everyone should. I mean, if, if, if Quentin's not on your list, what are you doing? Here? What are you doing? Yeah, what, have, what have you been watching for the last couple of years? What, he only has like one movie left in him? Does he? Does he? Was it wasn't on Once Upon a Time in the Last? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? No, no, he has one more. He has one yeah, more. he said he's going to make only 10. And he's like, I'm done after that. So far, it's Kill Bill 3, mm. Django Zorro. Uh, or Star Trek. The guy said he wanted Star to Trek. make a Star Trek movie. But I, that, think, I think he should do Star Trek. He, he's kind of just redoing... Well, not redoing. He's just adding sequels to his other yeah, ones. Yeah, I don't want him to make a sequel. I want him to just... Well, something original. Yeah. Not original, but something... Um, you know what I want at the, his last film to make it look to to make the other movies connect. <laughs> well, don't, don't don't they all somehow connect? No, I'm saying like there's a there's he does like a little montage of like every movie and it just looks like oh there's where they connect. Well, isn't one of the Jews soldiers from uh, Bastards related to somebody in Pulp Fiction? Uh, okay. Uh, fuck. It's, uh, <laughs> the, it's a the Tarantino verse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. The, Je- the bear Jew is the ancestor of, um, one of the guys, the main guy from, uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay. And in the Tarantino verse, this is Travolta? a uh, John Travolta. Yeah. And in the Tarantino verse, it's a world where World War Two ended with them killing Hitler. Mm-hmm. That's why everybody knows about movies because in their history, movies are kind of a big deal because that's what ended World War Two. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, and uh, I guess that that's why in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, there's that whole part where he's burning Nazis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's it's uh, so and it's I also already already Star Trek. Captain Kirk if it is John Travolta's character yes dude that would be a leap that's a leap <laughs> that's, that's, that's taking it out that's there. a very big leap if he does Star Trek like how would you connect it <laughs> well I mean Star Trek already takes place it doesn't take place in our timeline like it doesn't like with our history yeah no I know that but so that's a, you could do it that's a big you it, is a leap. it is as a Captain Kirk uh, one my, giant my, my ancestor who yeah. killed up Mars Mars Wallace's yeah. Yeah. For Zed's dead baby for Zed's Zed's dead. <laughs> who killed the Klingon Zed yeah <laughs> Bruce Willis <laughs> Bear Jew uh, no Bruce Willis would be Picard's ancestor and, and bald head <laughs> yeah, I, I think he should at least try to have like every like main star in his all his movies have like you know be a part of the movie a battle royale yeah battle royale <laughs> Uma Thurman like <laughs> <laughs> But I mean Tarantino is the greatest. <clears throat> Why? 
He's the, cause he's the great. If I have to explain it to you, you're a fool. I don't know. Why, he's the greatest. Why is she great? He's well, he did what uh, what Birds of Prey tried to do. Tell their story out of order. And he does it with a good job, right? He does it with a good job. I think one of the only movies he did that was just straight all the way through was from Dust Till Dawn. Okay. I think that was the only one where like it had like the... Movie. Does he do Dust Till Dawn or is that Robert... It was half and half. Oh, okay. Robert Rod. He did the... He did the... All the way up to... All the part was in it. <laughs> yes. Oh, like in Desperado? <laughs> as soon as they got to the titty twister, the other guy. Oh, yeah. It makes yes. sense. Yeah. yeah. And then, then, then that's when they killed them off. They're like, you're done, Tarantino. Yeah, get the hell out like, of get here. Get out of the way. <laughs> right? And, uh, yeah, I think that's the only one where he tells it, like, mainly in order. Yeah. And the other ones are, like, all out of... Out yeah. of the... It's... And, uh... I mean, what they about, uh, what about, uh, uh Glory of Bastard was pretty straightforward, right? They just had a lot of background stories on the character. Well, that one, like, the, like, that's typical Tarantino going back and forth. I think yeah. From Dust Till Dawn and Hateful Eight are, like, the most straight ones. Are they? Yeah, Hateful Eight seemed pretty Was it, was yeah. it straightforward? Didn't they go back in time and, not back in time, but go back oh they did a before well they round. do but I mean compared to the other one oh. it's like they do it the least amount have you seen the Netflix version where it's like three hours long I ended up seeing it, it really good. it was good I just, wow I, 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 it's funny because the first time I watched Hateful Eight I was like it was okay I liked it but then I watched it again and I was like this was nice I well, liked it well that's what I like about his movies like you you, you, ha- you have to watch it multiple times to see the little shit that makes you go ah yeah. I love him you, know that that <laughs> you have to watch it hey, hey he killed Shannon Tatum in that movie oh that was good I liked that one when <laughs> I saw it I was like yes <laughs> in what movie oh yeah, yeah we yeah. did see that right we did we were there and then he movie. kills Jonah Hill and um, Django does Django? he yeah you he know? was one of the KKK members but does he kill him I thought he just like scares him off no, Hill is they, they Hill. don't. They don't exactly show him die. So yeah, you want to think he's dead? Yeah. Why, why do you hate him, man? <laughs> why don't I hate him? <laughs> no, we didn't pay like like an extra bag. He's like, oh, I want you to pay me a bajillion dollars to be the penguin in your new Matt Reeves Batman movie. It's like mm, we'll just get Colin Farrell. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, man. Yeah, we can still do this piss, without you. Piss off, mate. Did he really do that? Yeah, he yeah, asked for I heard. Dollars. I, not but yeah, oh, not no, but yeah. he was asking. <laughs> he asked for. He was yeah. asking. What get, is he doctoring? I think he was evil? asking to get paid more than everybody in the movie. You want to get paid more than because Robert I think Pattinson. he was he's Oscar nominated, like because you know he, he was doing all those movies. He's a twat. Hey, hey, he's Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. <laughs> I lost the weight, so now I'm likable. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're better when you're a fat. <laughs> all right. Well. Uh, but I think one director I also liked was Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson films, huh? Yeah. What does he direct? Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that movie. It was yeah. good. It was low-key. It was funny. There was a time, I remember, there was nothing in the theaters. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then, like, I saw that one. I was like, hey, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> that, if you've seen that movie, that's his style in all his movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom, Grand Budapest Hotel, The Isle of Dogs. Oh, yeah. I haven't I seen that one. one. I want to see that one. Uh, Life Aquatic. Dude loves Bill Murray. Oh, yeah. He's a hard on for him. He puts Bill Murray in all his movies. If he could, he would put him everything. Yeah. Yeah. You can skip. You can skip. Skip. <laughs> you can skip the Darjeeling Limited, Bottle Rocket, and Rushmore. You can skip those. Yeah. But uh, besides that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The dude's, the dude's, it's quirky. It's quirky. Yeah. I know you have a big hard on for the Grand Budapest. I love it. You're like, oh, my God. That's the movie that gets invaded by, like, uh, the Nazis or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, th- th- these movies take place, like, in a nonsensical world. Yeah, yeah, they just, uh, let's, let's destroy shit. Yeah, basically that movie's, like, this guy who runs a hotel. He basically scams old ladies by seducing them. Yeah, yeah. So he goes to a woman who he was seducing's funeral, and the, all, their, all their children are like, nah, you, you, do, you know what you are, and he, and he yanks a, a, a painting, and he's like, this painting's worth millions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the whole movie, just them, like, oh, fuck. All right. Curious, is there another director that um, tickles your pickle? No. No, even though he had like 12 directors listed. Nah. <laughs> you, talked, you talked about most of them. Most of them? 12? I thought we did like four. Quarantino. I mean, I could say John Carpenter does a great job. I think coming from someone who like... He, Again, with a dark motif. Dark motif, and then music-wise, every 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 movie that he's done music-wise, beautiful. Halloween, the, that one's just classic. The Thing... The Escape from New York, they live. I think Christine also as well, but he does. He works. He 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 understands that music makes a movie greater. It's a space, yes. and he's made 
a man who made me be afraid of the dark <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> I was like, I can't go. I see darkness. I'm like, where? Where? It's she light. made me afraid of putting on sunglasses <laughs> and being afraid of what I'm going to see. And you're going to chew bubble gum and kick some ass. <laughs> yeah, but John Carpenter for me. I think also watching it as a kid, I was watching Halloween and I was like, my God, this man's going to kill me. <laughs> I mean, but uh, uh, music, I think a lot of directors, if they catch me with their music, dude, like I'm sold. Like yeah. anything could be like, even I think James Bond movies are like 007 movies. Their music, it like just orchestra type. And it's just wonderful. Don't take me to court on this, but I, I, I think I remember seeing in a documentary about They Live oh. that John Carpenter was one of the first directors to embrace uh, music people who were using synthesizers and, like, electric tones. Probably. He, he's, he's using that, too. For in, in They Live, yeah. like, the his music guy did a lot of that, and yeah. he was... A lot of people didn't like doing that. Yeah. Because it required buying more equipment. Well, I'm pretty sure, but... I think but he, was, he was down for that. He was like, yeah, yeah I'll hire him. I don't give a bitch. Yeah. It I, sound I, good. I think he, he he's down for that. I think because, he, like I said, he does a lot of his music for the movies... That he's he's down to experiment. It's it's one of those times where you're you like when the director is involved a lot with other stuff. Yeah. Because it really feels like it's their movie. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. You he's know? gotta like be in the nitty gritty. Yeah. Like I think with Joker, I think they won the the she they won the award for best music score, and it, it, you feel it. Like you feel it every time you hear it. You know, it's Ta-da! just depressing. And it's great. It's like it feels good to be depressed. <laughs> not, what the hell is he doing? What are you singing? No, He's trying to sing the SWAT song. God no, damn I'm it. singing the, the stairs song. Anyways, yeah, the orchestra. I love how that stairs is now like a tourist destination. Oh, yeah. People are hating it. <laughs> the, 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 the real people are like, we, we hate these tourists. This, this movie's going to make everybody become violent and shit. And, and all the people are like, yes, that's down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think John Carpenter, uh, one of my favorite directors of when it comes to just to co- like, I'm um, just amping it up with the music. And it's good, you know, like I'm telling you. Halloween, you hear that, you're like, run. run, run. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. If, if you're going into a haunted house and you hear that song, yeah. you're broken. I'm out. <laughs> like, I hear Christine's songs. Where's the killer car? <laughs> Who is it? And he's also the, he's the director that uses multiple, uh, the same actors over and over. Oh, he has a hard on for, uh, what's his face? For uh, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, oh, yeah. Which, Jamie Lee Curtis. Which, you know, it's funny. I, I want to see more Kurt Russell in Quentin Tarantino films. You know, he yeah. fits in well so good. Like, why don't you get him more? He was good at yeah, He gets his head blown off in hey, April hey, Yeah, <laughs> but he was good at it. Like, yeah. I, I'm, that's what I was like, why aren't you in these movies, though? Listen, honey, I never I never drive faster than I can see. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, for me, John Carpenter, I think music, when it comes to these guys, they're, they're, they're it's awesome when they get involved in that. You know, like, I'm telling you, Nolan has a big boner for Hans Zimmer. Yeah. He <laughs> does great, dude. Like, right when, right when, uh, Har- um, Commissioner, I have to save Dan. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 oh, I never said thank you, and you never have to. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you on Zimmer. Yeah. Oh, and then, like I said, 007, man, their they're orchestra. like, And I love how most of the mu- music, like for the how they start off the, the main, the, the main, main you theme. know, they always get a main theme for each movie. Mm-hmm. It's still the same beat as the. Uh, no, yeah, the main one, but yeah. just a little, just a little. Yeah, different. yeah, which is good, you know. So I love, love when music gets involved in, in movies. You, you know, you just listen it. Just music in general, it just makes you move. And then you listening to a movie, you're like, oh yeah. Oh, we're talking about directors, not composers. Well, I mean, some directors compose their own movies. Really, John Carpenter. John Carpenter. God, that what I, I was talking about. And then, like I said, I like when directors are like, yeah, yeah, make love to it. <laughs> well, cause, make love to what's on like screen. Like I said, directors also have, like I said, like how Nolan had his boys. Um, he had Hans Zimmer for every goddamn movie. <laughs> like, Tim Burton had Danny like, Elfman. Danny Elfman, man. So, I mean, yeah. wow. uh, who, who, Who's Nolan going to get? Guess who gets it, <laughs> Right? But anyways, uh, that's me with, uh, with John Carpenter, I think. Anybody you guys have anything or... You guys are good? I'm good. You go um, with us? Yeah. You, you, you go with all your directors you've talked about? You feel like you've... Uh... Uh, just a quick... Uh, you know who I loved as a child? Just because his movies were so 
fucking cheesy and Who's bloody. That? Paul Verhoeven. Ah, is that the man? Who Robocop. Ah, oh, drop it. Drop it. <laughs> I'll pay a dollar for that. I'll, no, I'll buy that I'll for a dollar. Man, you're so lame. Yeah. <laughs> Always giving me gripe for shit. Uh, you got that oh, one. You got me. You got yeah, me. no, Robocop was dope. Oh, what else did he do? Starship Troopers. Star- oh, man. Starship Troopers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whatever. Total Recall. Total Recall. Oh, Total Recall was good. Because they're just so cheesy and just yeah. like... Well, those were 90s. Yeah. Was it 90s? 90s 80s, 80s, 80s and early 90s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, early 80s. It early... was in the 90s, but he didn't know the 80s have ended. They're like, they're gone? They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one's here listen, anymore. Listen, Paul, we've seen this movie. The, the 80s are done. Yeah. The, the, nah, nah, not over till I say it's yeah. over. Yeah, but no, that was, that was pretty much with the directors. I, I hope everybody just uh, finds yourself a director that you like and uh, I mean support him you watch his movie obviously some of them are going to be hit and miss just like some people who uh, still have faith in uh, Sh- uh, Shyamalan <laughs> do you guys have directors that are like a miss all the time besides Schumacher <laughs> he, did, he did Lost Boys and then boom Batman fucking uh, M. Night M. Yeah, M. Night he was, he was great and then what the fuck happened yeah, and then he, he stepped up with Glass and then a lot of people didn't like uh, no uh, he, he did Split and then a lot of people didn't like Glass, Glass yeah. but I mean like I said it's not I your I don't need to watch that one yeah but anyways yeah. So I, I liked how when we went to go see a movie they showed a trailer for his movie and, like, and then <laughs> by M. Night Shyamalan and everybody was just like fuck <laughs> this it was, just, it. it was just a trailer people were walking yeah. out I think the only movie that night from him was Signs and and uh, the Sixth Sense. Okay, that's two movies. I liked uh, Signs, The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Unbreakable was good. Oh, that was probably my favorite from him. Um, was, Beauty, was I, I know the Village is not his best, but I still like it. A lot it. of people, yeah, a lot of people get like there's creeping back to it. Yeah, yeah. no, I like that one. He, do, he doesn't nail. He doesn't always nail the ending. Yeah, but he does know how to build suspense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It reminds me of um, what of uh, Billy from uh, it, uh, Chapter Two. What? They all love the beginning of the book, but they hate the ending of the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Game of Thrones. He should have directed Game of Thrones. Right? <laughs> he, he just step out out of the end. <laughs> Later, guys, so, I'm checking I'm out. checking out. Like, oh, take my spot, Nolan, for the ending. <laughs> he needs to hear that speech from uh, Herschel. Not Herschel, the, the other guy from The Walking Dead. Which you can't it? just check out. Oh, you can't just check out, yeah. Um, any uh, any, any um, directors of crews have kind of like, why? <laughs> Shook your head? Nobody? Nobody? I just gave you two Schumacher. Schumacher. Okay, Shyamalan. Shyamalan. Sh- I mean, he, he did give us the airbender. <laughs> oh, I apologize for that. I apologize. Yeah. I take responsibility for that. Right? I don't think I have any directors. I can't complain about that Fast and Furious because they're all been different directors. Oh, okay. Um, we can still bitch about Fast and Furious. Hey, you know what? They're going to be wonderful. Now that you hate them, we're going to love them. Yes. Um, I can't bitch and complain about Resident Evil because it's been different directors. No, hasn't it been the same director? No. Almost? The you one know, that banged the... the yeah, the, the banged the, Yeah, isn't the it? The only one that he's done was 1, 4... 1, 4, 7, 8, <laughs> 9, 10. 1, 4, and 6, I think. Okay, that's the majority of all of them. And there's been different directors for all of them. I don't believe that. <laughs> he's stuck his hands in it. He's stuck his penis. Why in. is it that like the characters from those movies look like the porn parody versions? Why do they, they do? Just, why do they look like none of them have died? Like every movie, I think there's there like a there's a like coming back to it. Like what's her face came back at the end. Ooh. Um, the girl from Fast and the Furious. She came out in the in the, what the the fifth one. I think so. Yeah. And she was a clone. Yeah. Like oh, we I liked you. Don't even know what's going on. It's at this okay. Point. <laughs> Yeah, but, but so uh, basically in the sixth one, Alice... You don't need to explain it to me. I don't even <laughs> yeah, I'm basically... not even invested. Yeah, there's just clones. Yeah, but no, yeah. Uh, all right, that was that was pretty much us with the directors and some of the directors that only shook our head for like a minute. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> but anyways, enjoy, everybody. I hope you uh, have a great uh, February. And like, remember, there's no 30. It doesn't exist this month. And if you're sad about Valentine's Day, just remember, nobody loves you the rest of the year. Yeah. The force be with you. <laughs>